Do we do 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 we do do? It's me. Hey guys, it's Bree, and I'm back with another video for you. And this is my Dollar General haul. I just got back from the Dollar Tree like 20 minutes ago. I was looking at my clock, sorry. <laughs> and so I got a couple things. Now, if you're like into haul videos, then you should like this one. Um, if you're into food, you should like this video. And if you like, you know, slight makeup and good hair care products, you should also like this video. Um, so basically, I got a lot of snacks and a lot of candy and a lot of junk food. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a foodie. <laughs> this this midsection ain't thick because I don't eat. You know what I'm saying? No, no. You know what I'm saying. She know what I'm saying. You girl, you, you know. <laughs> so, basically, this video isn't going to be very long. It's not really going to be that much into detail or anything. It's not even like a super serious video. It's mostly just me showing you guys all of the stuff that I got from the Dollar General. Now, as you guys know, I love the Dollar General. I love Family Dollar. I love the Dollar Tree so much. I love Walmart too, but that's like out of the dollar. It's like a, then the Dollar Trio. It's Family, it's General, and then the original Dollar Tree. So, yeah. I'm gonna do hauls probably sometime in the future for the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, I love the Dollar Tree. I could spend hours in the Dollar Tree. Today I was pressed for time, and so I was only in the Dollar General for maybe 30, 35 minutes, not that long. So I went in, and yeah, basically the whole story is I bought this blender, didn't need the blender anymore, lost the receipt, returned it, got my money back. I got a dollar and five cents more than the blender was worth, so all of the money, all of the money, I used it to spend on the food. Now the mascara that I brought, brought that I bought, and the um, hair conditioning moisturizer stuff that I bought, that my mother paid for, but it's still in my bag, so yeah. So really and truly, this video won't be too long. I hope you guys like it. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. I love you forever. Yeah. Okay. And let's get to the video. The first thing I bought were some Snapples. They were having a sale, three for two fifty, and so I got my favorites. I got peach tea, which absolutely baffles me how it says peach tea, but peaches isn't listed anywhere in the ingredients. You think it'd be one of the first ones? Snapple, I think you have some explaining to do because I'm a little confused. It's peach tea. I don't see no word peaches. No peaches anywhere at all. I don't see it. Peaches, where you at? The next one I bought was Strawberry Kiwi. I love that one as well. I don't really care about the ingredients too much for that one. And finally, I got my mom a fruit punch. Next, I just bought some Mentos and cinnamon. I ate those like as soon as this video was done being filmed. I love Mentos so much. And at your local Dollar General, they're 89 cents. So yeah. Next, I bought some off-brand Pop-Tarts in the flavor of s'mores. These are actually pretty good compared to the like real name brand Kellogg's Pop-Tarts s'mores flavor, the toaster pastries, and they were only a dollar, so. And then I just bought some peanut M&Ms because I had a taste for them. What really kills me though is this little tiny box is 220 calories. I'm shaking my anger out of the box. <laughs> And now I have my jalapeno Cheetos. It's actually taking me about three days to finish this bag. No, about four days to finish this bag. But I love jalapeno Cheetos. I don't like hot Cheetos. These are my absolute favorite though. I absolutely adore them so much. They're so delicious. Oh my God. I also positively adore peach rings. Um, while I was at my state conference, I bought three more bags, and as you can see here, my fudge stripe cookies, those were gone after like two or three days. I love the chocolate. I love them so much, and these are just as good as the Keebler brands. I love these just as much, and they're like $1.85, which is a lot cheaper, 
Next up, and my last sweet treat, I have Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I love Reese's. I love them so much. They're like my favorite candy ever. I love chocolate and peanut butter. I love the ice cream so much. So delicious. And this bag is like a dollar. And I think I was counting 11 of the cups inside for the serving, so. Now, this is the Wet n Wild Cat Eye Fan Brush Mascara. It costs exactly $5, and I've used it, and for the first couple of days I started using it, I really liked it, but it's kind of starting to clump up a little bit, but I mean, I can't be too upset, I guess, because it is Wet n Wild, and their mascara isn't always my favorite, but this one right here, I love the way the brush is set up. It makes my lashes really long, makes them really full. They look literally like fake lashes. So I really do love the brush on this mascara. I also love the purple. It's really cute, very fun. And yeah, I'm just showing you guys what the tips look like. And I'm also going to show you some really important facts about this thing. You can check out your own time or whatever. But what I absolutely love is that this product was not tested on animals because honestly, animals shouldn't have to suffer through so that way humans can enjoy. So this is my Cantu Shea Butter Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment, and it's supposed to strengthen my fragile strands and protect from heat damage. Honestly, it doesn't provide much shine. It's more of a moisturizer, and really and truly, I mean, it was $4, so I don't expect too much. It goes on kind of like hair lotion, but yeah, I mean, I give it a 5 out of 10, really. It doesn't do as much as I wanted it to. Finally, I got some black tights. They're not as black as I wanted them to be, even though it says jet black, but I mean, they're okay. It was a two pair, it wasn't really that expensive. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not as dark as I wanted them to be. And as you can see, I got the mine and it's like the size queen, cause your girl is a queen. Uh, I am super thick. I'm well in between that 145 and 205. I'm not telling you where well in between, but I am. And honestly, I didn't get the size B because even though, you know, it's more my weight category and my height category, I just like the extra, you know, security of having larger pantyhose. Alrighty guys, so like I said before, this video wasn't very long and it's not very interesting. Sorry if it was kind of boring and you thought, this is a waste of time. Why did I have to open this girl's video? What is wrong with her? She's all, all full rocker. Yeah, I know. I'm a little kooky. Just a little. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you liked my lovely company so much, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell if you want to find out more about when I post. And if you still can't get enough of your girl. If you still can't get enough, baby, then make sure you follow me on my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. I totally will post more on Twitter. Totally. And, yeah. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Brianna Lasseter is really great. Really great. Really great. Brianna Lasseter is really great and deserves the opposite of hate, which is love.